Hi, this is Ilka Morse from CDLC. Uh, today, what I'd like to do is talk about um, why your metadata, the consistency of your metadata is so very important. Um, I'm trying not to um, pick on any one uh, institution's collection, so I've selected, just happened to select this particular one because it's small and uh, more easy to work with. And I'm hoping that after this video, everyone will take the time to check all of their uh, collections in New York Heritage um, to see how uh, consistent their metadata is. So what we're looking at right now is the new New York Heritage webpage for um, a particular a collection. And what I want you to look at is over here on the left-hand side. As you can see right away, we have what's called facets over here um, that are been created by some of our metadata. And if you look at creator first, you'll notice that of the nine items in this collection, it's separated our metadata into six for unknown and three for unknown again, except that unknown was misspelled. In date of original, you'll notice we have sit three sets of dates, but if you look more closely, all three sets of dates are actually the same, except for the format where we've entered them in different ways. And finally, publisher of original. In this group, we have two entries for basically the same publisher of original. And again, it's the way they've been entered. This is where a control vocabulary for publisher of original would be a good idea because it then makes sure that your entries are consistent and the same for um, each name that you put in there. So what we need to do in this case is to correct this um, metadata. And the easiest place to do that is in our project client. So I am going to my project client. I've already opened up uh, a project folder for um, this work um, in this collection. And I am going to go to find in collection because I want to bring that particular collection back, um, the copy of the items back to the project client. In this case, I'm gonna use browse by control vocabulary because I know it's all one collection and I'm going down to digital collection. I could have also used the uh, collection ID to do this. And I'm gonna click on that particular um, collection name. And we have, and right here is just a bug that's currently happening in content DM. If you see something like this, uh, please contact your CDLC staff about this. The indexing in, C, uh, in content DM is not always clearing deleted items. So that's why you're seeing uh, that particular uh, X sitting there. It was an item that I deleted from this collection and it's not totally gone. So here we have all of the items from this collection and I'm going to select all of them. If you go down through, except for that one there that we don't want because it's not really there. And once I've selected all of them, I'm going to click on add to project, edit, and wait for all the little locks here to appear. And there we are. And then I'm going to click on my um, project folder that I created. And here are all my items. And I have, let me see why I have this. Um, I already have information here that is not found in the control vocabulary. And let's see if that's the same here. This is another issue. And another issue, so we don't have to worry about those. Okay, so I'll have to check this one to see what the problem is. So we were interested in three fields. The creator field, where there was a spelling, spelling mistake, excuse me, and in the date of original for format, and in publisher of original. Okay, so what I'm going to go to first is to the creator field and I'm going to click on, excuse me, I clicked on more than that. Let me go back down. 
and click on creator field again. So this is sorting the creator field for me. And as they look at it here, unknown, unknown, and then here are the ones that are misspelled. There are one, two, three of them. And look at those, okay. And I'm going to click on this and do fill up. And those are all now correct. What I'm going to do next is go to um, date of original and find here is the correct format for that. And I'm going to make it fill all because we knew all the dates were the same, but they were in different formats. That's the format I want. And finally, publisher of original. And let me go down. And it's this one and this one. And I could sort on this, which might be the best thing to do. So let me sort on publisher of original. And for some reason, I'm not seeing where, Let's see if I can see that better. We have Donald, so five points, five points. And somehow I don't have the one. I'm not sure what happened here. Let me go and just double check my information and see if I was wrong in that. So I had two and I had one. And for some reason, that one is not showing up. Let me just go back and I'm not sure why I'm not seeing that. Ah, I know maybe what I'm looking here. Let me do this again. Let me go down and see if I can see that. And I don't. It may be because it's on one of the sub pages. I'm not quite sure. So we'll have to go and look through because um, there's the two we want. Okay. So once we fixed um, the issue that we have um, for those facets that we were interested in, that was the creator. Um, publisher of original and, and um, date of original. We can just go through quickly here and check. Uh, and it looks like we have an issue here, which is easily corrected. I'll just take that out. Okay. And looking at all the rest of this, we can sort through these if we need to, if you want to um, make sure. Um, that everything is the same. This is such a small collection that we really can just scan. Okay. Now the other situation here is that these are compound objects and we need to check and make sure that the misspelling or the format in the date are no longer an issue. So the best way to do that is click on the thumbnail, go to view structure, view spreadsheet. And unknown is good. Publisher of original is good. And the format of date is good. So we're gonna, let's just see what this problem is. Not found in control vocabulary. If it's not found, we will find it. Let's just go through here quickly and just see what I'm looking at. If it was not in the control vocabulary, we will catch it as we put this up. Um, so I'm going to click on save and close and send that one up for upload. Double click on this one, view spreadsheet view. And it was creator, which spelled wrong here. So we're going to do fill down. We have publisher of original, the same. And we're fine on the format of data original. Let's go through scan here. It all looks good. Let me just check this here. 
ah, I missed something. Let me go back. This is going too fast. And ah, we have a mistake here. There's a period instead of a forward slash. So I'm going to fill down and correct that mistake. Okay, I'm gonna do save and close. We're gonna send that up for approval. Next one. So you can see sometimes this could be a lot of work when you're working with compound objects. I'm gonna go to view spreadsheet again, creator, we're fine. Publish of original, we're fine. And format, we're fine. And I don't see any exclamation points or anything here. So everything looks good. Save and close. Going to upload for approval. Let me also at this point just tell you one of the reasons I knew these were all compound objects is that the file name for the object metadata record or is this default INDEX period CPD in content DMs. So whenever you are looking at an item and the file name is this, you know that you're looking at a compound object. Okay. So double clicking on this one, view structure, view spreadsheet. And again, we're looking at creator, we're okay. Date of original. And it looks like I need to fill down on that one. And publisher of original, we don't need it in all of them, but we will put them in all of them. Okay. And I don't see anything else. Click on save and close. Upload for approval. View spreadsheet view again. And we could put unknown down through here. This brings up a question of what you must have on the page metadata records versus the object metadata record. We actually have not um, set a minimum standard uh, for this metadata, except you must have title. You must have the right statement, the collection ID, the identifier, and the file names. You have to have those to upload or rework on things. Um, after that, I would definitely suggest that you at least have uh, the Library Council, um, the digital collection name, um, who the publisher of the digital um, is on all of your pages. So in this case, we'll, we'll fill down on this just for the unknown because we're working on it. Um, if we're looking at publisher of original, this is the five points, New York. We're going to leave it um, in that format. And the date looks fine here. So I'm going to click on save and close and upload for approval. Again, view structure, view the spreadsheet and unknown is spelled wrong, fill down and publisher of original is the five points New York, which is fine. And the format of this is not fill down. And let me see what they have here. Control vocabulary term. I'm not sure what it's going to be and we will find when we get up on the server. Okay, save and close. And upload for approval. View structure, view spreadsheet. And again, we're looking at, and this is fill down. It was spelled incorrectly. And publisher original. And there is none here. Okay, format, fill down. And everything else looks good. So we're gonna click on save and close. Upload for approval. And our final one, double click. View structure, view spreadsheet. And 
unknown is correctly spelled. Publisher of original, there isn't anything there. And this format looks correct for the date. And the rest of it looks fine. Save, close, select, and upload for approval. At this point, we could go into administration, content DM administration, or I already have uh, content DM. Actually, I don't have the server up. So let me add a new tab. Sorry about this. And put the server in. And go to the collection that I'm in. And I want to go to approve. And here I have all my eight pending. I'm not sure what the problem is with that control vocabulary that said it wasn't there because we have zero. Um, again, an important thing, if we had a control vocabulary term here, we would definitely not use full approval queue action. What happens in full approved queue action if you use it is if you have any new control vocabulary terms for um, a control, for a, excuse me, a metadata field that has control vocabulary, these new terms will not be added. So I always tell everyone to always work in the detailed approved queue action section. Control vocabulary would be the first thing you would be working in and we don't have any new ones. Look down here, we're going to select all eight items and do approve. When you're uploading from the project client, it is always a two-step process um, to um, change or even just in, you know put new information up from the project client. So I've approved and now I'm going to index. And I always use the immediate indexing section of the index scheduler. So we're going to do this. It would be as again, as I mentioned, it would be great if each of you could go back and check your collections to see if you see a, an issue with the consistency of your metadata, especially for those fields that are showing up in those facets on the uh, left hand side of the website. Now, in this particular case, I'm not sure if we have time to wait for this to index. Um, sometimes this week, this has been taking longer than I um, thought. But once you have, once it has completed indexing, those changes that we made, which as you can see, still have not, um, and I'm not again sure what's happening here. So we'll ha I'll have to check that one separately. Um, those changes are now um, going to show up immediately. But let me let me go back, pull this down so I can see this tab. Um, and the indexing again is taking a while. At this point, what I'd like to say is that um, having done uh, the editing that we just did in the project uh, client, uh, the facets will, once the indexing is completed, will now be showing consistent um, information under creator. It will all be unknown spelt correctly. Uh, there will be one date in the correct format. And it may be that I have to investigate a little further why we have the situation with the um, uh, publisher of original, um, but I'm not going to go into that and in this video. If you have any questions about this material or if you uh, need any help once you start looking at your own collections, please contact your CDLC staff. Thank you.